Hi, Tech Rabbit here. Not really one of my normal videos. I wasn't thinking I'd make you one, but since the subject is on everybody's minds and there's a little bit of disinformation out there, I thought I'd actually just do my contribution. And um, I'm not looking for likes, I'm not looking for subscribers, so you don't need to do any of that. But um, I would hope that you listen to some of the information I give you and um, you find some of it useful, I hope. Anyway, the um, first point I have is to be aware. I, I think that's a big point about understanding the situation. So, follow stat uh, statistics. Actually, have a look here. So, for example, one of these pages, um, there's many others. So, this is not the only one where you can actually follow the um, worldwide development of the epidemic and get regional regional information also. Uh, now there's a lot of misinformation going on, on out there so um, be careful um, sort of know your sources and double check seemingly outlandish promises or statements that's a fact. Um, and the next uh, important thing is to follow um, you know guidelines and, um, the top level guidelines come from the World Health Organization. I think that's a good place to start. But then, of course, governments you know, and or states, regions, depending on how your country structure gives out information, and then there's local information. So I think it's important that you are aware of those guidelines and follow them. Um, then, um, you know, keep your family safe. That's actually a, a key activity. And, um, you know, stay, stay informed just for your family's sake. And um, try and stay calm. Not the easiest thing to do, of course, in these circumstances, but it's important to try and stay calm. Um, inform. Um, I think to, you know, decimate information within your family as best you can. There's one key, very, very critical thing to understand that children under the age of 15 are not immune and they can also get sick enough to end up in hospital. Um, that actually comes directly as a message from the World Health Organization status um, reporting. So I've made a link of that, especially in the comments. Because there's a, at least in my region, there's a lot of things going around that our young people aren't, subsept, aren't affected by this and they don't actually get that sick, but that seems to be statistically not the case. Uh, I think as a family, I mean, stockpile a reasonable amount. I think like stockpiling for 14 um, days is like two weeks is reasonable, but don't go overboard. I mean, uh, world of from that perspective is not coming to an end. Um, stay in contact with your family members if they're not resident at home or don't no longer live at home. So, uh, that's important. Uh, one thing that one can easily forget uh, is to look after one's own health. If one doesn't look after one's own health, one can't really look after anybody else's health either. Uh, so, you know, keep up exercise. Uh, as best you can, you know, keep to healthy or try and have healthy eating habits. I'm not going to go into recommending what that is. So. <laughs> so. Uh, relax from time to time. Uh, also a very hard thing to do under a crisis, but it's, it's important for the mind. One just chills out for a while. And then stay home if you're sick. Don't, don't try and push, push the boundaries. Um, I don't know, I'm not very good at predicting the future, but I think the one should be hunked down to be prepared for three to six months of waiting um, to actually uh, to get the trends to really trend out so the one can actually be more secure as to know what the actual final destination is in this thing. So, you know, remember, three to six months, it's not going to be over next week, it's not going to be over in two weeks, it's going to take months. And um, hopefully not years, but uh, at least after six months, if they don't have the trends clear, then, then I don't know what we're going to do. But, uh, I think um, then 
and there should be a very clear picture of the trending trends. Uh, not to be a doomsday guy, but I think that you need to try. We need to expect that a similar event will repeat itself next winter. It might not be exactly this virus, it'll probably be a variant of it, and I hope the world will be a little bit better prepared so we don't have to shut down everything in a panic and run home. Uh, you know, help your community. Uh, you know, reach out and be available. Um, that's one way. Don't take unnecessary risks, though. I mean, there are professionals out there that can do certain things better than you can. So, um, if you feel that professionals need to be involved in professional health care or something, then um, you know, contact them instead of doing it yourself. Uh, for those that are working or hopefully working, um, you know, support your employer. You know, we need to support the economy, or otherwise we're doomed. Uh, you know, get if it's still an option, get prepared. You know, have meetings with, with your employer. Um, you know, sit down, see what's going to happen, how things are going to move forward. Keep each other informed. If you're working from home, try and improve your home working situation. And very important is to not to work too much and burn out can happen very easily if you're working from home. Uh, follow home working guidelines and if you don't get anything from your employer there are lots of videos out there that you can follow um, or get instructions or information about how it work. Uh, if you're working in a team then support try and be supportive of your team um, your other co-workers because everybody I think is going to be pretty stressed out about this. So it's important not to, um, not to sort of stress everybody out even more than what's needed. So uh, f efficiency will probably go down. No, that's just the way it is under these circumstances. Uh, and then you should discuss safe working options with your employer. Um, there might be ways that you, even if you have a physical job, there might be ways that you can actually get work done at the site. Um, probably it will be like reducing the number of personnel in place, redistributing them through the building, uh, you, know, you know, things like that. But I mean, don't just give up and say, oh, now, now my job's going to end, I'm, you know, I'm going to be out of work. You know, work collaboratively and you might actually find a solution that works. For example, is there something else that you can do other than your main job? It's a temporary activity. And governments should be kicking in um, with extra assistance to companies so they don't just go bust in the next couple of weeks or months. Uh, yeah, social distancing I think is a good avoid contact with people. Um, difficult to do if your local region decides that schools are still to be open and your school is at, and your child is actually obliged to go to school. But um, yeah. One has to do the best one can. You know, avoid travel of all forms. I can't, rec can't stress that more. Um, scrap all holiday plans or visit trips in, in, in your country. Not worth it. Uh, you know, join the, the folding project if you want to use your extra compute time for something useful. This is actually a very interesting activity. So you can actually join your computer to calculate solutions for um, um, you know, like developing new vaccines and stuff. And the only thing it will do is to get up a bit more power. So that was um, that was my short message in this. Um, so I hope everybody is okay. Um, you know my deepest condolences is to those that have um, lost loved ones. And, uh, my my um, support goes out to the health professionals struggling worldwide with this um, problem and I really sincerely they have the energy to continue with their good work. And, um, I would like to say a word for the poor Italians. They've been, it's, it's hit Italy extremely badly, the situation, second after China. So, uh, you know, keep up the good work. I think um, you're doing everything you can and um, it'll, it'll work out, but it's going to be tough. 
And I hope that we don't have to deal with it, that type of situation elsewhere in Europe. So anyway, well, thank you for listening. Um, not really a great subject to talk about, but um, oh, see you in the next one.